Okay, so now for the rest of it, um, we will be looking at uh, you know how to start to uh, hopefully predict. I mean, th this one is really actually the study that we're doing is, is I don't think a great one uh, for um, architecture, but it's a kind of interesting academic exercise. So let's go ahead and we'll follow through. So I'm just going to create a multiplier for each of um, these values, and I'm going to try to uh, make them kind of equally weighted. Um, and you know, you can decide that one is kind of more important than the other, and that's perfectly fine. That may be the case, uh, but right now I'm just going to make them kind of equally weighted. So I'm just applying a multiplication factor for each one. And if it all is kind of equal, then uh, each one of these values, so if I want this to get very close to 12,000, and 24,000 is my goal, uh, I can either uh, you know, multiply this one by 2, or you know, divide this one uh, by 2. Uh, so what I'm just going to do to make it easier, since all these are factors of, of 6, or, or actually can get to 24,000, I'm just going to add uh, 2. Oh. I did the wrong slider. It goes to 1. Hardly helpful. So this first one will we'll multiply by factor of 2. The next one will be 1, since we want that to stay at 24,000. Next 2 will be 4. I'm sorry, the next 3. Alright, so... And we want this all to kind of... Uh, I want to keep this. I want to kind of keep an eye on, on what these actually are. I don't want them to be multiplied at all, so we'll just make sure we don't see them linked. And then I'm just going to do a mass addition. I want these all to come together. So if they all equal 24,000, 24,000 times you know, 5, so it should equal, um, what, uh, 120,000 or something like that. So that is suddenly now will become our goal. You know, they don't now because it's just kind of arbitrarily moving around. But so then our goal would be for this to equal uh, 24,000 times 5. So, so I'm going to say that that's 120,000. So now we just change where the fitness is located. Now it's going to look at this number. And then I will change in here this to be 120,000. And then I will try the solver again. And place that right in here. And you can come see it working on both levels. And I'll see my computer heat up. This is taking a lot of processing speed. Now, there's a couple of things um, I just like to talk about why this is running. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why this isn't really a very good architectural move. Um, one, you're just putting in programming; you're not really caring where it's adjacent to. So, so normally, I would say that you know Galapagos really isn't that good at kind of making program decisions because you have to get extraordinarily complex kind of things going on um, to figure that out. However, 
you know, right now we're allowing each of these uh, points to be moved, you know, completely within the uh, volume and all X, Y, and Z. So, but if you were new, like a major program wanted to be kind of up above, you could limit it to only moving in X, Y and not in the Z. Or you could change this kind of threshold so it doesn't go from um, 0 to 50 in the Z, but it goes from 50 to 40 in the Z. So th there could be some refinements that you would make so that you could make some predictions of kind of you know, at least what level or kind of where uh, where within this uh, cube of volume is located. So right now I'm, I'm kind of giving it absolutely almost no restraints. So, um, so I, I, I'll be really surprised if I get any results that I actually kind of want. All right, so um, so I would see that these numbers are shifting around quite a bit. They're starting to dial in a bit. Now, and here's the problem. And this is the other reason why volume might not be the kind of thing to do or or a program in general. So I've given it weights, okay, so that each one, each space is kind of seen equal to one another. So it's really trying hard to kind of get the, that number. But the, here's the issue. Um, these weights uh, do not try to get number, uh, you know, this, this, this one, this volume, to be 24,000. It's actually trying to get all of these to equal 120,000. So uh, the results won't be that these three are kind of equal, but the, the hope is that the multipliers can kind of weighting each value will hopefully get them, you know, somewhat close to the kind of uh, the, the, the value you want. Uh, so I'm just going to stop this right now and just take a look where we're at. Okay, so this is the the end goal. It's trying to get it to 120,000. And this is what it ended up with for the first one. Around 9,000. 16,000 for the second one. And then it really didn't get very close. It kind of got these a bit off. You know, they're actually the three of them together equals about what I would want, 18,000. Um, but I could, let's take a look at kind of reinstating and see, you know, see if there's adjusting. You know, maybe I can find, whoa, I didn't need to do that. See if we can, could, could have found, uh, if I hadn't done that, uh, find a kind of ha more happy medium. And I'll just run it again and pause the video. Well, as predicted, um, this really wasn't a great exercise to find out kind of uh, equal uh, values of kind of what I was, you know, my primary goal. But um, you can start to see uh, as you, you know, kind of do reinstate that you, you have a bit of control um, of finding a kind of baseline uh, to kind of to go by. And then what you might do is to uh, begin to dial in and uh, to, to decrease the, the, the amount of um, movement that each of these points you can kind of start to may, maybe slim down their, their uh, maximum and minimum. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, one thing more, um, you know, just to kind of 
get into a little bit more of what this is. Uh, you know, so then you know, I might take this bit and I group it. And I can also take um, take uh, the title too and start to use that to label things. So this is uh, mating volume So I thought this would just give you a little bit of better way of uh, starting to uh, organize uh, your thoughts as you do um, uh, develop your scripts. Uh, so I really expect all of you to start to kind of use some fashion of this. Obviously the colors and how you do it is kind of completely up to you, but uh, this is just one good way of kind of starting to uh, get a bit of um, a more rigor uh, developed in your process.